Hello, DNB here, and welcome to the first video tutorial on transitioning StoryShop users to Plot Factory. In this uh, tutorial, we are going to specifically drill down into the planning um, kind of beats process specifically. So, right here, we're looking at the editor. I'm using a project that I've been creating natively in Plot Factory. Um, this is a nice clean writing environment. We've got some rich text options and things up here that you can utilize, including this really neat sort of narration um, feature, but we'll go over some of this stuff in another tutorial. From here, we're just going to jump immediately over into this left bar that shows where we can organize things. This feature is going to be moving, this is just moving your actual scenes of your uh, narrative content around. Um, that is going to move over to here so that you can utilize this without having to jump out of your editor. Um, but for our purposes in, in outlining and creating beats, we've got two main options. This first one called the Plot Organizer and the second one outlines um, and th there we are it says I didn't have any but I do um, I'll start with the outlines um, you're not going to want to do um, both outlines and the plot organizer as far as you know your actual outlining um, the plot organizer is a little more flexible it has the ability for you to track subplots and things like that if you choose to use it in that manner which I think is what it was originally created for uh, but for people switching over from story shop to here you're going to be used to creating kind of your beats outline most likely and you're going to want to either choose one or the other of these tools to do so um, this outlines tool allows you to um, create new outlines and so that's what this does here here's a you, and it gives you templates um, the plot organizer does not have templates so this is a unique feature of just this outlines function you can create the blank sheet um, you can create well, you know a classic three act template um, what it calls the story beats plotting template and a story premise worksheet if you create one from story beats um, it gives you this. Uh, these are just sort of its headings that it's going, it's kind of assuming that you would want to utilize um, and a, just a one sentence, you know, um, notes on what you should do with each of these beats. Um, these are essentially chapter, these are each chapters within the outline. It each just has one sentence of notes for that chapter. Um, not something necessarily that I would use, but maybe you would. So this is an example of how I utilized outlines um, and I created, decided that I was going to create an outline just for one episode and that I would create a new outline for each new episode if I were to use this feature to do my beats planning. Um, and I just sort of, I erased the header names because these are just my beat scenes and I don't have titles for my scenes and I just put in my notes for each individual scene. Um, the plan for episode one is to have seven scenes and again this is all customizable. I'm using this episode terminology um, you know you could use chapter or you know whatever you so desire. <laughs> The nice thing about outlines, other than the fact that it has the templates, um, is that this is, it gives you rich text options. Um, you know, the bold, um, I can use, you know, quick commands. Um, whoops, that was not the quick command I wanted to use. Um, to bold, italic, <clears throat> underline, etc. So, that's the outlining feature. Um, this was, again, I opted to use Plot Organizer in developing my beats uh, planning and outlining for this project that I'm currently utilizing uh, Plot Factory for. So we'll take a look here. Um, and again, this is like, you know, just a blank one that I generated. 
Um, this is how it first appears. It allows you to kind of, this is more of kind of the larger folder and, you know, this of like your chapter. In this case, it's assuming it's going to be an act. In my case, I reduced it down to an episode and then I used these for scenes. And so if we go back to the plot organizer and click on the one that I've made, I came in here <clears throat> and I just decided to create this first sort of larger bucket um, to be season three and put one real quick description and then started my notes. And so for my process, it kind of starts kind of random. I just start asking myself questions, um, kind of putting in where I left off since this is season three, kind of with the first two seasons, um, reminding myself of things that I need to bring up and do, and then got in to episode one planning. Um, I haven't really titled my episodes yet. Um, and again, I don't title my scenes, so I just, this is all just kind of how I tend to do things. Um, created my beats here, and I think I've outlined episode one, two, and I think I'm working on outlining episode three. Yep, that's where I left off. And so, you know, if you wanted to create another just uh, scene, I could do that, put my content in there. These are all drag and droppable, so you can rearrange them. Um, if I want to come down here and create, you know, my next kind of larger bucket, uh, for episode four, I can do that there. Um, you know, pretty simple. Now, the one thing to keep in mind that is different between Plot Factory and Story Shop is that creating these beats, um, whether you're using the outliner or the plot organizer, in your notes and planning mode does not add a chapter or a scene to your actual story content. So for example, here in episode one, I've got notes uh, for seven scenes. Um, if I come back over, which I'm just leaving a second window open, oh, I have both of them now on notes. Um, so if I have, you know, typically I've been keeping one whole window open on my editor and another window on my notes planning. And since currently I do not have the ability to see my notes while I am also seeing my um, story itself. So if I'm keeping this one open and it's showing that I've got these seven scenes that I have notes on, if I go back over to the actual editor itself, um, in episode one, it is showing one, two, three, four. I only have actual narrative content in these four scenes. And so scenes five, six, and seven, episodes two and three do not exist yet in my story. Where in, plot, in the story shop, if I built them over here, they would have empty placeholders over here and vice versa. If I built them here, they would have empty placeholders over here. That is not the case with Plot Factory, so just keep that in mind that you know, you're know you doing your, your mapping and you're planning your beats over here that does not necessarily create empty chapters or scenes, episodes or scenes over in the actual editor itself. You're gonna need to do both manually. But that is about the rundown. Um, oh. And mentioning there just what I was talking about, about needing to keep open these two windows so you can see things. Um, Plot Factory does have this little quick view feature. And when I introduced uh, Jeff to the kind of pop out window feature on Story Shop, he liked that and wanted to adopt that. So currently, this feature just allows me a kind of shortcut to review these notes. But this is not a separate window. Like this is blocking me from actually doing anything in my content until I close this out. Um, in the very near future, this will be a separate window that will allow me to kind of drag it over to the side and keep it open uh, while I am also working in my notes. And so that same function should be available for me to pop out 
you know, if I was working on scene five and I wanted to pop these notes out as a separate window, I could, and so that I could see them without having to jump out of my story or having a second, um, you know, browser window up here open. So that should be a shortcut method to do that. That should be coming soon. All right, we will um, be creating more of these video uh, screencast tutorials in the weeks to come to introduce you to sort of the rest of the features here in the editor, um, you know, the narration feature, how to best kind of utilize a lot of the tools um, and settings that are available to you over here on the side. Um, we'll have one that will look specifically at characters and then next week we will drill down on one that actually will show the overall structure of how you go from a uni uh, un universe down to stories within that universe um, and then you know the to the actual writing of the story itself where we've been at today until then happy writing